Hi, my name is Ron Extract. I'm one of the owners here at Jester King Brewery in Austin, Texas. And we are an authentic farmhouse brewery. All of our beers are brewed with a combination of beer yeast, native wild yeast, and souring bacteria that's unique to our land here in the Texas Hill Country. And we'll be featuring three of those beers this weekend at the DFW Untapped Fest. Um, the first is a beer that we actually brewed in, in um, collaboration with another local Austin brewery called Live Oak, one of our favorite breweries. They make some really outstanding Czech and German style beers, a lot of uh, Czech and German lager in particular. And um, we, we love what they do with that. So we asked them to produce a Pilsner malt for us um, that we then brought here to ferment with our blend of different yeast and bacteria. Um, and this beer, the resulting beer, is called um, Collaborationsbier mit Tschechischem Hopfen und Wilder Bakterien Hefe Kombination, or just Collaborationsbier for short, or Collaboration Beer. Um, that's one that we debuted here at Jester King last weekend. We'll be serving up in Dallas. Um, also, Witchmaker Rye IPA, which is uh, kind of an unusual take on an IPA. Again, we brew it with our blend of uh, beer yeast, native wild yeast, souring bacteria, so it's going to have a little bit of funk and tartness to it, which is a little bit unusual for modern IPA, but something that certainly would have been present in IPAs when they first originated, because they originated before really the uh, discovery and isolation of single strain yeast. So uh, we brew this with some American hops and some rye malt, giving it nice kind of fruitiness, uh, a lot of tropical notes, which play nicely off of some of the tartness that we get from the souring bacteria and the funk from the wild yeast. And then the third beer that we'll be featuring this weekend is a beer that we uh, age in oak barrels and then re-ferment with apricots called Aurelian Lure. Um, re-fermenting sour beer with fruit is something that we really like to do at Jester King. The re-fermentation part of that is very important because we're not adding fruit to sweeten the beer, we're not adding it just as a flavoring, but as an integral component of the fermentation. The sugar in the fruit ferments out to dryness, and the result combines some of the character, some of the flavor and the aroma of the fruit with the flavors and aromas of the beer itself. And this beer will actually be poured from a, uh, a gravity keg, so rather than being dispensed from the bottle, uh, it'll be a very old school type of keg that just sits up on the table and is poured by gravity. Uh, the beer is naturally conditioned in that keg. All of our beer is 100% naturally conditioned in the vessels from which it's served. So whether that's bottle, keg, gravity keg, cask, um, all 100% naturally conditioned. And uh, please enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, man. We'll see you there.